Could 343 be ditching the idea of Battle Royale and going with a big team battle 2.0 with the expanded features on top of that? Possibly with this new information. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, tap subscribe. You know, keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So yes, you hear me right. No Battle Royale, Big Team Battle 2.0 possibilities here. And this source is leaked information and it comes from a reputable insider for Microsoft and Halo information. So this debate really does kind of continue on, is Halo gonna do a Battle Royale? Are they gonna be sticking with BTB? What is their big selling mode that they haven't revealed yet for the Halo Infinite multiplayer? Halo has always had some big new mode to try to advertise to get people to want to buy the game and play it. They've had this ever since Halo Reach with the introduction of Invasion. Halo 4 had brand new modes in Big Team Battle and expanded customization along with Spartan Ops as well. And then Halo 5's big game mode was Warzone. And I know a lot of people have asked the question. I've got this a lot of time on my stream, which by the way, check out the link in the description down below. We stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening if you guys want to check us out there and we kind of go into a more live conversation about these kind of topics. Uh, but Warzone itself, though it was rather popular within Halo 5, I don't think it will be coming back in Halo Infinite. Because the big purpose of Warzone was to essentially sell rec packs in game. And we do know that Halo Infinite will not have any loot boxes whatsoever according to the December update that we reported on this channel earlier. And also with the popularity of Call of Duty's Battle Royale being called Warzone as well, I have a feeling either they have to completely rename the game mode itself, but when if you try to bring that back in Halo but rename it differently, there will be some kind of confusion obviously right there and yeah the mode worked for Warzone in Halo 5 but it wasn't really fully fleshed out to its full capabilities and I think it would have to kind of go to the drawing board to bring it in Halo Infinite but without Warzone what would be the big game to bring people to jump in to play Halo Infinite well a lot of people speculated Battle Royale or a lot of people have also talked about expanding BTB well known insider for Microsoft and Halo Clobro who's actually been quite accurate multiple times with his leaked information said this recently on Twitter. I know there won't be a battle royale mode. To my limited knowledge, instead the team is creating a big team battle 2.0 mode which is a better fit for Halo, including massively enhanced vehicular combat, a squad spawning system, incoming pelican drops, and many more surprises. Which honestly, I think that might be the better route to go than bringing back Warzone. I think an expanded big team battle would kind of be the way to go about doing this. Maybe increasing the player count and adding in some new game mechanics to make BTB really stand out more than just like large scale team slayer like we've kind of had traditionally and make it more of its own unique mode. Now to break that down for including massively enhanced vehicular combat I mentioned, there would have to be some new mechanics obviously with the vehicles within Halo. We did see that within the Halo Infinite gameplay reveal where the front left tire of the Warhog was actually blown off. Hence the reason why the character kind of jumped out of that situation right there. Obviously, I'm sure it was rather scripted, but uh, this does showcase there are some new mechanics with vehicles coming with Halo Infinite, and I'm sure that's not the only thing. Now, referencing squad spawning, this would to me indicate this would be a much larger than 16 player count when it comes to a big team battle, possibly something along the lines of Battlefield, where you had 64 players in a server. I could totally see something like that happening and actually working out rather well for Halo. I am a huge fan of the Battlefield franchise. In fact, I pretty much strictly played Battlefield from like 2012 or up until about 2015. And I could honestly see the gameplay of Halo transferring over very well to a Battlefield-like kind of game. Now, if Halo did like a class-based system or some kind of point system to upgrade your character that would be pretty freaking sweet and i would like to see that happen as well it'd be a totally new take on the halo gameplay as well and give you more reason to play btb rather than just having just vehicles and larger scale battles happening within that mode 
The other section talking about incoming pelican drops. To me, this just kind of maybe bring in the same idea as possibly Rex from Warzone being brought into big team battle, which would be a kind of an interesting thing. Uh, we do know that obviously the microtransaction system will have individual purchases as most likely as well as a battle, pa battle pass as well, as 343 did confirm that there will be seasons when it comes to Halo Infinite. Of course, that could mean a lot of things. You'd be either calling in new weapons or power-ups. That's one thing. Our Pelican drop could break be like you know unsc ai like marines and stuff like that there are multiple ways i can go about this but basically having dynamic options to bring in new stuff to kind of reinforce or kind of fill back in some parts of the battle within big team battle 2.0 now obviously this is all kind of leaked information insider information so take it as you will but i wanted to pass this information on to you guys so you know what people are talking about right now within the halo community right now at the making of this video this tweet was actually taken down by Clobril because I think he might have seen some people start running with this as a story and I'm pretty sure he wants to keep his reputation strong which he's been doing a fantastic job of in the last few months if not years and obviously this might be something that might be a little bit more fringe of what he knows about Halo but it seems like he kind of has a general idea of what might be coming around the corner of a large-scale mode I mean in Halo Infinite to what degree or what kind of specifics there might be some changes right there but it does kind of seem like he has his finger on the pulse that there is gonna be a large scale mode coming in Halo Infinite to something to maybe a fully furnished new kind of gameplay that we've never really seen before in Halo which does sound very exciting but then also he does kind of sound rather strong about not having a battle royale in Halo. Now, I know we all have very different opinions about Battle Royale in Halo. In my opinion, I think it'd only be a positive thing to the franchise, as that would generate a lot of buzz when it comes to gaming news and the community as a whole about people wanting a new Battle Royale kind of experience. I mean, Dr. Disrespect recently tweeted out saying, we need something new, something fresh. What's the next big BR that's gonna happen? What's the next big shooter that's gonna try to bring everybody in the gaming community together? And Nick Merckx, who's another prominent streamer, did reply to this saying, Halo, what are you doing? And about like a year ago or so, Sketch did tweet out asking, in a Twitter poll asking about what would you like to see in Halo? Would you like to see a Battle Royale in Halo? And the community was like literally split right down the middle, 50% yes, 50% no. Personally, I think the best way to go about doing that would be releasing Halo Infinite as a solid Halo game. No Battle Royale whatsoever. Maybe like a six month update or a year update after the initial release bring in the battle royale so then the traditional fans get to experience that traditional halo feeling and to regenerate some buzz for halo bring in a battle royale i think that would be the best way to go about doing the whole thing well, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on this as well i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen and over here i'll link to all my news and information on videos so you've been on the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out